Hey, good morning. Sunday morning. Very nice morning again. Uh, so I'll give this GL1000 another run out. Um, we'll try this route on Kalimoto and uh, see how we do. Uh, I might have to go to Sugar. I'm going to have to go on for fuel first. <laughs> so I had to go up to Jedburgh. Um, start navigation. Let's go. Right, we'll do this, bro. Um, boom, boom, boom. I will have to go on up there. Uh, I'm going to have to go up to Jedburgh like, uh, for fuel because. And we're off. Ooh, yeah, fella. It is warm. Follow the road for about seven miles. Well, Michael must be away to the hospital because the car's not there, so hopefully he's going to see Elaine. Uh, he's going to do a um, Sunday, I'm going tomorrow. Um, then there's, uh, I think, Alex, Morgie and Nicola as well after, after me, so it'll be Friday before I'll be able to go back to see her. So hopefully she's, she'll progress like she has been doing. This is spitting and spluttering again, like. I should have changed them plugs, I just cleaned them, you know, I didn't change the bloody things. <laughs> I think that plug on number two is not knackered like but I should have changed them like. <laughs> Bloody, whoa. I'm gonna give that bloody ball a tap and I'll like I don't have the bloody thing sticking or what. My, the bloody float might be sticking and flooding that bloody number two till then like, I never thought about that. Beautiful morning though, isn't it? Look at Kakuf Reservoir there. Stunning. Lots of bait out today, of course. <laughs> Lots of bait. That mirror flipping. Must have got more than that. How like that's a flipping sturdy mirrors here, for God's sake.
Well, uh, Elaine rang up last night. She was, uh, she decided to get the television on now. Like, so that's a good sign because like, she hasn't been able to be involved with it. Like, but uh, last night she she's got to put on. Um, so it's a step in the right direction again. Like, so and she sounds more alert and responsive to what you're saying to her. But when she's ringing, when she's ringing you up, like, so she's obviously alert. Like, <laughs> um, but hopefully it's uh, a gradual increase in us our, our strength and our the ability to get a, get a, uh, get out of bed and things like that she was out of, been out of bed a couple of times apparently like with help obviously but hopefully she's uh, she's going in the right direction and hopefully these blood to us are doing the tricks on the doing the trick on the bloody blood clot the one there was a one leg but uh, the one in the in the lungs obviously the <laughs> the one that needs to get sorted out because that's what's got a completely out of breath all the time like so. the poor punch is out she's on oxygen of course like uh, so she's not straining herself trying to breathe not putting undue pressure on her heart that's i think that's what it, what it's for like but uh, yeah, there's hoping anyway She's on, our road. She's on the road to um, some sort of recovery and being able to go home eventually. Come home eventually, sorry. But at the moment, she's uh, in the place she needs to be, like. I wasn't going to come out with the bike today, but I was... Uh, I thought I'd start this up in the garage because it's never been started since probably the last time I was out on it. So, so when I started, I think we decided to get it out, check the tyre pressures, and uh, take it out for a little ride. But I'm going to have to go up to Jedburgh anyway for yeah. for fuel, like so. In one mile, turn left. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Kalimoto, but I can't. I've got to go on for a few. <laughs> I could go up for fuel and backtrack down here, but it was quick at the. It's quick at the jump back across. I know where to jump back across the from Jedburgh and. I'll come back out of Jedburgh, I mean, and then nip across all of them and come all the way back through the quarter here, like, so. Haha, <laughs> two bikes up there, like. <laughs> In 0 0.2 miles, turn left onto A6088. Sorry, Callie Moore, I don't know what you're going to do you now, like, but uh, you're probably going to. You're probably going to have a wonky. <laughs> Follow the road for about five miles. Wrong road, Beth. Try to keep us on that road. Calculating new roads. <laughs> well, well, calculate. Follow the road for about five miles. A back brake, the one that uh, needs a piston trade off a bit, I think. 
Will it not get used all the time, you know what I mean? <laughs> Can it be held? This is a Honda Goldwing JL1000 K2, 1977. Ah, oh, that back brake definitely needs a bit of a <laughs> release. I'm going to give it a stamp on soon, mate, but there's a bike behind this, like, I'm not going to... There's two bikes right behind this, like, but, uh, but I can't have gone anywhere because of the cars in front, like. The Honda Gold Ring. I'll drop back to the sixty mil right. Give it a blast shoot in the papers. Well, I locked the wheel up there, like, by stamping on the back brake. <laughs> go on, lads, off you go. In 1.3 miles, turn left. Get that back brake free off. Like I didn't spray it. I should spray some brake cleaner on them pistons, like, but uh, the exhaust was red hot. Just below the caliper, like so. <laughs> I decided not to. <laughs> Kali Kalimoto. Turn left in less than a mile. Uh, well, I'm afraid that's the road I'll be going on when I'm coming back, but I'm not going on it just now, flower. Ooh, look at the muck coming out the back of that Sierra. Woohoo! Oh, it stinks now. I don't know, it was a Cosworth, actually. It's a Sierra, I like, but I don't know, it's a Cosworth. I kind of get close enough to read the. Ah, there's Cosworth, right? Well, it's got a Cosworth badge on it. <laughs> Bit of oily smell there, like in I'm afraid. miles turn left. Sorry, flower. I ain't gone left. I'm going to Jedburgh for fuel. Ooh. 
this is pretty good. <laughs> it's good. I hope it's good. I know a few of the kiddos are at the for a life. It's not on reserve, like. Turn left. No, thank you. Sorry. They can't go. I was going to take this off. Follow the road for about five miles. Try and take us off at the. Uh, Follow the road for about four miles. The, the about there. Uh, Alright, I'll take us. Do you know what it is? The bastard. I open that to scratch me frickin' eyebrow. As soon as I open it, a frickin' fly smatters in the cheek. <laughs> or something smatters in the cheek. So I should have left me eyebrow itchy. Because <laughs> now my cheek sound feels like it's been shot with an air rifle. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled out in front of me actually before come to think about it like me and the Cation straight out in front of us when I was trying when I was pulled out over the the vehicle in front. Yeah, the devil. <laughs> I put this back on the market for sale, you know, I did that last night. I mean, there's a lad. Danger zone ahead in 0 0.1 miles. Danger zone? No, oh, I just don't. But, um, that's a camera, but it's got a bag out its, out its... So it's not working, that one. But, um, what was I going to say? Nah, there's a lad been in touch a couple of times, I think, like, but... Uh, I don't know why I flipped it up for sale. I put it up for sale a while ago, like, and then I didn't really want to sell it. What I wanted was room in the garage, and I was going to get something else to come with the collection. But uh, every time I ride this bike, I think, Jesus, it's perfect. I didn't want to get rid of it. It's fantastic, man. For a bloody bike this year, I mean, the age of this, like, and, I mean, it's no showroom condition it hasn't been restored now it's just as is like but it is quite very clean for its age <laughs> in excellent conditions you bug out I think that the uh, splat on me visor there for the done some of the bloody intercom there because there was a beep when it smacked us in the face <laughs> Sorry, then the come the bloody camera mic, the mic on the camera. Ah, I don't think I should. I think I should just probably keep it hard at this. Like, I mean, I, I might, I might uh, restore it. It needs a bit. It needs a canny clean. Like, I mean, it's flipping, flipping up them bloody rock acker was or not. Like, I mean, they're usually quite shiny, shiny. <laughs> but I think it needs a good clean. Like. In 1.1 miles, turn left. Well, I'm afraid I'm going for fuel, but... So I cannot turn left. Bodies at home again. Well, I feel guilty every time I go out and leave him, like, but... Uh, He's comfortable, there's loads of water, he's in the house, it's well shaded, bloody, just about every window's open. So it's much more comfortable, it's actually it's more comfortable than what it is being outside actually, but uh, he's got a spot under the tree near the door that he likes to lie because it's well shaded behind that tree, I was going to cut that tree down and all, but uh, I don't know what's the matter with this. In 0 0.3 miles, turn left onto B6357. But anyhow, I, I was going to cut it down, but I'm, I'm just going to leave it because it's flipping up. It's, he, he loves it when it's, when it's really sunny, like, because it's a great shady spot, like. <laughs> and, the, and when the sun moves across the top, turn left. obviously the shade's there. Ah, oh, they just moved around the train, he just moved around the train into the shed, so...
Um, Follow the road for about six miles. So I'm gonna do this. Calculating new route. This lot will be sick of me, like. Follow the road for about 1.3 miles. Baby <laughs> fed up with me, like. It's my own fault, like, because I should have... I mean, I've got fuel in the garage, like, but... There's only the 20 litre metal can full of petrol. No, the bloody... I've got four one litre plastic ones. In one mile turn left. But they're, but they're empty now, like, so... I need to get them filled up, but... But anyhow... I got the garage and fill up. <laughs> I don't like filling up with this garage because the robbing bastards think <laughs> Prices are pretty. I mean, the price is high anyway, like, but compared to supermarkets, it's at least 10 pence a litre dearer. It's a bloody shell garage. Which is freaking scandalous, actually. <laughs> but you see, Jed, it's, it's the only fuel station for probably about 20. In a, and about 30, 20, 20, 20 miles to 30 miles to come from. So, and it's on the year 68, so there's uh, people that's travelling from up Newcastle to Edinburgh on the 68, like, well, they just get fuel there. They don't have to detour off the main road. <laughs> off the 68, I mean, off the year 68. I suppose it can bump the prices up the suit. Frickin' robbing bastards in this world, like. I mean, you can st In 0 0.2 miles, turn left onto Abbey Bridge End. You can still, you can still be fair with your prices and, uh, and make a living and make a buck, as a car, as a man to say. But, but this frickin' it's just greedy bastards. Turn left and turn right. Greedy bastards. Sorry, love. I'm going for fuel, man. Tell you a hundred friggin' times. Go on. In so. zero point one miles, turn left onto Castle Gate, B six thousand three hundred and fifty eight. In five hundred feet, turn left onto Cannon Gate, B six thousand three hundred and fifty eight. I should just turn you off. <laughs> turn left. <laughs> I should turn you off. In 0 0.1 miles, turn left onto Market Place, B6358. Can it, man? I'm, I'm friggin' speeding. Here. Turn left, then turn left. 20 miles an hour, yeah. I'm following that van, that's why. Fucking hell, you, man. What, we're following that van, listening to who? I'm bloody breaking the speed limit. Which is bad crap, like. Turn left. Calculating new roads. I'm going to turn round to Ashes. In 0 0.1 miles, turn left onto Bongate Gardens. Pause the friggin' You road. paused your ride. You're right, because you frickin'. Damn, you're heathen, Pat. I should have paused it ages ago, actually. I never thought about that. I'm definitely going to have to free that back caliper off, like. I mean, it's working, but it's uh, a bit stiff. The fuel station, the petrol station, man. I'm so 
just well, need to get that off there because I ain't leaving that on there when I'm in the in the garret in the fuel station. <laughs> Right on. Right. Something like that could have been out there. <laughs> I could have been. Follow the road for about 0 0.7 miles. We'll follow this now. We've got fuel. <laughs> That's the main thing. I re unpause it then, it just asked us to want us to alter the start of the route, the, the, the track, or what I said, to jump in. Press the jump in, so it's jumping in wherever it is. Like, but a nice bike there, eh, like. The hall here? <laughs> you think you would have flipping? <laughs> flipping, I'm speeding. Let me call you, man. Howdy, howdy. I've left the bloody video recording. You know, going all the way in it, but... But he felt we got... In 0 0.1 miles turn right onto Cannon Gate, V6358. I'll just follow this and see what happens. Should take us to where Turn I want to be. Right. Should take us to where I want to be, like. We'll see, like. I hate that freaking buzzer, like. <laughs> Of course it does remain. In 0 0.1 miles turn left onto Market Place, B6358. It does remind you that the indicators are thick. Turn left. It's obviously a, a, a requirement for The American market, like. Follow the road for about four miles. Hey. A uh, castle in front of you there, you see? Dead butter. I don't think I've. Sorry, I didn't think I've ever brought. I didn't even realize he pulled in to let me pass. I don't think anybody had there, anyhow, 
Dedborough Castle Jail. Look at lovely that. <laughs> that is flipping stunning, that thing. Very nice. <laughs> I'll have to investigate that more soon. Well, the sheep are all blinking flat out there with the heat hiding behind the dike back <laughs> with the wall. <laughs> Jedburgh Golf Club. Naomi's kitchens are open, that's what the sign said there. <laughs> I mean, that was a little fly went up my bloody nostril there, I think. <laughs> Little birdie. <whistles> that's because this volume's turned right up. I think that's beaten for. We've got to because that Cali motor will flip in. It's not the bloody loudest thing in the world. But I think it's a it's a phone. Or something. Look at that view, man. The phone because it works through the Siri system according to what they said at uh, Cali Motor. So the bloody iPhone's got a thing on it now. So if it thinks you're having too much bloody high audio through the bloody head, yeah, 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 no, I, headphones, yeah, yes, yeah. In one point one miles, turn left. It can reduce the volume itself, bastard. <laughs> Rue Castle down there. There's a lot of exploring around these roads, you know. I mean, flipping it, I've rode most loads of them, but something new keeps popping up, like. <laughs> like bloody Jedburgh Castle Jail, I knew it was there, I've just never ever been past it, I've never come up that road. It was beautiful. Definitely needs a bit more exploring that. I'm going to have a look around that something when he, well, when he then gets out of the hospital. Uh, and able to walk a little bit, we'll uh, go and have a look around there. Lots of gravel on the road here, eh? In 0 0.2 miles turn left onto C36. Nice road, like twisty, twisty. Very nice road. I'm going to be turning left. I have been up here before, I think I remember it. Turn now. left. In 0 0.6 miles, turn left. Take this back to Chester, I think. He gets his back on track then from the route. Lots of gravel on this track, like this road. Lots of loose chipping, gravel shite.
And it's quite, it is quite narrowly, but... <laughs> Flipping lovely though. In 0 0.2 miles turn left onto C36. C36, this must be C roads and... <laughs> turn left. You can't go on right, but the road gun's left, so... Doesn't it? Oh, mate. Well, it doesn't. It's a bit of a T junction, though. Follow the road for about three miles. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm going to leave this video in its entirety. I'm not going to chop it up. To get the full ride. Well, maybe it's not so much the bit that's inside the fuel station, like. <laughs> Standing in the queue and paying for the bit. Well, I don't think I'll be including that, like. Bedroom. Woohoo! <laughs> you're not kidding. Bed definitely rules when you're tired. Look at the gravel. The gravel. Oh, it's nice, nice. It's a nice big form. Isn't it? Just farm roads out muck and freaking shite and gravel all over, but hey ho. Don't know my height up there. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> there's, tell you what, there's absolutely flipping hundreds of little roads around the border, see, I like which flipping them I've been on. But I wrote, I wrote quite a few roads, like, but not these ones. Like. Different from the last time I was out on this and all, I went some. It's this Cali Moto app that's picking these, like. It's flipping really good, like. I mean, I subscribed to it, so I got the full package, like, but uh, it is absolutely worth it, like. A nice place to live as well. Yeah, fella. <laughs> bit bumpy the road, bit bumpy like, but never mind. <laughs> of course, you've got to be aware of bloody farm vehicles on these roads, like. Eh? Well, every vehicle, like, but farm vehicles as well, like. Uh, <laughs> Come around with a little blind bend like that and whack, blink and Big, big, massive in 1.3 miles turn right. Yeah, massive furthest in us, I think, in front of you. <laughs> John Deere. Nice house now. Looks like relatively pretty new, that one, mate. That's nice, that one. Very nice. Beautiful spot. Yep. Missed the gear. I didn't sh kick it up hard enough. Just put it straight into neutral. <laughs> or a false neutral. Hmm. Flip and grab right in the middle of the truck like this. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! 
Well, you're better off road than there, son. <laughs> That's for looking into the bloody crop, into the field. <laughs> Not paying attention to the bloody end of the tarmac. <laughs> Flippin' lovely man, lovely drobbler. I want the bridge, I want the bridge. What little tiny bridge like that? In oh. 0 0.2 miles turn right onto B6357. Turn right. He's that far away. Far down the middle, eh? I can't even fucking see that. In 0 0.1 miles, turn left. Turn left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the road that drops down into Chester. So that one to the right here at the Bonchester Bridge, but it's too far to where... In 0 0.8 miles, turn left. Where we want to be. <laughs> we need to go to Chester, turn right, and then we'll go... So far along, then turn left and go down towards Sawtree. Towards Sawtree, heading towards New... And then New... New... Pull it up. Any language. Towards Newcastle. Bloody fireweed. <laughs> High for <the> life. <laughs> that one was Easter for the life, then. Great names. <laughs> In zero point two miles, turn left. Turn left. Follow the road for about two miles. Dry chit and gravel. Yeehaw. Just like being at home. <laughs> no, like, sort of like I'm home, like. No more than 20 miles of me hoose. <laughs> at the minute. This needs a good clean night, like, as I said before. Like, really In 1.1 miles, turn right. <clears throat> pigeons. I think gorgeous, man. Gorgeous, gorgeous, bloody gorgeous. Oh, 
got a recce run on Wednesday coming up, like down to Pickering Malton. Uh, on another route, twisty route by uh, the plan on Cali Motor, I think. But, uh, hopefully, the weather isn't going to be too bad, like. I wasn't sure whether he was getting in there or not, like, but he wasn't, like, but still he had, <laughs> had to learn past. In 0 0.2 miles, turn right onto Chester's Bray. Chester Bray. No one Chester's, but Chester's. Oh, oh took my neck. Here we go. It's some pressure because it's 20 miles or more. Turn right, then turn slight right. The Smitty, the Smitty. Something, but some wood, fire, burn. Follow yeah. the road for about 1.9 miles. Well, something like that. <laughs> well, that's a long way around to get to there, but I had to go for fuel and flipping was well worth it, like, because them roads are fantastic. In 1.1 miles, turn left. Slow track, that's turning. They need to get that strim down there, because like, you can barely read that sign to the right on top of it. You need to get the grass trim down so you can read it. The only thing that's missing off this bike really is somewhere to carry stuff. I mean, I could stick a tamp bag on it, like, but uh, I'd rather not. And I didn't even want to put a bloody backpack on myself. Maybe I could put a sight work by it, but I don't know. Some throw over, throw over panniers on it, maybe, so I don't know. Just to carry water on that for a drink. In 0 0.2 miles, turn left onto B6357. Turn left. This is a road that takes you down to Saw 3 eventually. But we're not going left to Saw 3, we're going straight on to Newcastle. Or in that general direction anyway, but... Uh, we uh, use this road lots, like for riding round Saw 3 and look at that, in the air. I keeled that top end of keel, the, the top way, right, dropping into the top end of Keeler village and then down past the lake here, Keeler Reservoir. This is a be, be circular route from home actually for a little blast out on a night time. 62 miles long, <laughs> that, that route. 
Uh, well, I do want to sometimes just put a little blast on the night, I think. Well, the Danes rode this route a few times on our bike as well, like. And she's riding my bike, so. well, A couple of times at least, anyway. Probably, probably more than twice, I think. Uh, to have road on it, right? Sorry, I've got a blinking fly up me. Stud. Feels like a little fly up me nose again. Not so good in me nostril. No, boss, must be getting up underneath me bloody chin. I don't know how the hell they're getting up there, right? But <laughs> hey ho, let's go. That was a bee or a fly, something hit me arm right, but I felt it. <laughs> a bloody little bloody burn river there is just about dried up like. Windy, windy city once again on a naked bike and all, so need protection from the wind. Popular bike and road as well, like obviously. Cloud cover in the sun. Bastard. Bastard! <laughs> Watch me bloody keys and I didn't fly out the pocket. Uh, I've got me bloody me denim jeans on, the bike denim jeans, right? Uh, Pan and Kevlar. I don't, <laughs> I don't usually wear them, but they do let a bit of air through compared to the bloody leather ones. I, the leather, I wear like leather bloody jeans. But uh, that's because it's a bit more. I see that air and it's lovely and comfortable on a nice hot day like this. But the pockets <laughs> aren't that deep, so and I have got my bloody house keys in my left hand pop, pocket. I should have probably put them in the bloody jacket and zipped it up. Oh, right, never mind. Never mind. Go, Mr. Sightless man.
you have gone doing hell soon for a while, eh? Yeah. Noisy, it's very noisy. Very noisy. Indeed. Beautiful though, but very noisy. Follow the road for about seven miles. Okay, Flama, follow the road for about seven miles. Yep, back on the side of the road. Uh, I was going to take a way forth there, but I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a bleep nicky in because of different thing. Must be very noisy unless it beeps after that she gives an instruction, that's what it may be. I don't know, I'll have to listen for our next instruction and see if it beeps after she's spoken. It may well be. No, maybe it's not because it beeped again there. <laughs> Might be the racket of the wind actually setting it off for some reason. You've been on the road for more than one hour. Ooh, I've been on the road for more than one hour. Oh my god. Well, I haven't really because I was at the garage for probably about five minutes or something. Can you feel vague? Yeah. Yeah. Master MF MX five. Very nice. It's a bit of a long trek doing this like when we get onto these little twisty narrow bits doing here, aren't they? Hey, you're drawn there. <laughs> because I'm not get past him going doing here, like. And he ain't going to stop with that we're past. Thank you. Ah, a lot of shade coming off there. Ooh, oh. Thank you. Yep, there was lots of dry grass here coming off the cutters there, right? Yeah, fella. <laughs> I wonder if the cameras picked all that up, like. <laughs>
Got a bit of it in the eye, actually, I think. <laughs> and my left eye there's a bit, was a bit itchy. So. Not watch for lambs and all that. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, look, that's an island out there doing there, can he? A little bloody, well, a rock. Mother and young and <laughs> lion doing with water gunning around them. Flipping lovely, they're on holiday. <laughs> Better than a carabiner. How are you, little ones? Yeah, all right. Saw tree station to the right there. Good bed and breakfast up there, but I've said it many times when I've been passing it on the video, like saw tree station. Nice bed and breakfast in the old bloody waiting room for the station. Just turned it into a little holiday cottage up there. Fucking lovely. Lovely trouble. That's probably pretty low, the water in there, like, there's not much water in there. Meo! Get across the bridge before these little bikes come to go. Yep, they are. From saw three <laughs> on the left. From saw three form. We'll be going down there on the way back, actually, like. Woohoo! <laughs> hey! It's extremely windy, but who cares? The naked bike strikes again. Woohoo! I must apologise for the wind noise on the microphone, but I cannot, I cannot help it. I cannot help it. It's not my fault. <laughs> In one point two miles, turn sharp right. Ricketon in form, because there's Ricketon junctions up there, across there somewhere, right in the up in that forest up there. Ricketon junction. Stand up then, 
get a bit of blood flow in my bloody butt cheeks again, mate. <laughs> Aha! It went beep again! I don't know why it does that, like, unless, unless it is the volume, like, I mean, she has just spoken, actually, like. Well, obviously, you can hear it on the video, she's... In 0.3 miles, turn sharp right. Turn sharp right. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it was a neutral lake. <laughs> what a matter. Follow the road for about 1.1 miles. Okay, the okay, pass. Oh, nah, that would like, because I usually come in... In one mile turn right. Come in from the other end, like, but never mind, we're going back this way. But I chose it, like, because... Because uh, we're going to go and look for Shankland Viaduct. I remember the last time I came in there and he went along that bloody farm, <laughs> coming this way. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Bouncy, bouncy. In 0 0.2 miles, turn right. I can smell wood burning again. <laughs> Somebody's got a garden fire or a bloody... Oh, frickin' hell. They shot in the throat there by a bug. <laughs> oh, I better have a garden fire turn going right. on there. This is so with a little bridge. Yeah. Follow the road for about 1.5 miles. In 1.2 miles, turn right. Look at the scene, me man. Beautiful. And I've still got the beeping gun on, I don't know, I'm trying to turn that down again, like. Because <laughs> it's like the maximum volume bleep. God knows. Hey. Hey. Oh, I should have stopped and took some for shit. Yeah. Why do I keep forgetting to do that? Like, I had to, you know, I had to use the bloody phone, like, but never mind. <laughs> I'm sure there's a bloody. I bought a camera on there to allow you to take pictures like, on the bloody. on the app anyway, but. I don't know. Whatever. Oh. Whoa. 
suspension was a lot to be desired compared to the newer wing leg. <laughs> In 0.2 miles, turn right onto B6399. Turn right. And we're off on the road again. This is the last time I tried to come here, like the, the bloody bridge up here was bloody shut down and you couldn't get across it. So, <laughs> and I went up by Hermitage Castle and I ended up bloody all the way back in Hoyt. It was a good, it was a nice ride, right, obviously, right? but I'd up and just been down there the day before with the border wings. <laughs> Took them on a ride and brought them down that way to Hermitage Castle. It wasn't a very nice day that day, right, at the end. <laughs> but anyhow, that was the last time I was coming along here to go to uh, Shankill Viaduct, uh, Shank End Viaduct, but I was on... Uh, great. I must have just done this, right? Where can I? Good <laughs> straight up the middle of the track there. There's a camping caravan club site here. Hermitage Farmhouse. Ooh, yeah, interesting. Just a, it must be a five van site to see, yes, but uh, interesting. Hermitage Farmhouse. Hermitage Castle. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they were doing, it was bloody weeks ago when I came and I couldn't get on for them. I would have thought that if this was laid weeks ago, most of this loose stuff would have been friggin' gone now, but friggin' hell. It ain't. There's me water at all in the flipping river there. It's a wee bit dry, but you can, son. So you know, say the flipping road. Cheeky pucker. There's a lad on the uh, Royal Enfield Himalayan site that, that lives quite close to here and uh, he comes here regularly, well, Shank Hill, Shank Hill, I keep saying Shank Hill, Shank and Viaduct. Because I'm sure he rides this way to work and that, but, uh, I've been going to go for a ride, but uh, last time, unfortunately, I couldn't uh, do it when there was one plan and he was off work. Um, but it would have been <laughs> nice if I could. Could have met up with him for him to show us where this place was, could I've never been to it, like. <laughs> but I'll see if I can find it.
Kyllä vaan liikana väliin. Dana, bloody Himalayan here, I'm standing up on the bloody wing. <laughs> hey! I've got some bloody oh, blood back in my bloody butt cheeks. <laughs> I ain't as young as what I used to be, that's for sure. That's nice. Flipping lovely, that, like. Oh, it's white hope, man. Flipping that. Nice. Oh, white hope, there's this bloody museum here, train, little two train museum. That's beautiful, that lady. Got the Union flag flying in the front. <laughs> very good, very good. Look like the gravelly section, but Wunderbar! 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 Oh, tunnel there. Oh, tunnel there. I'm at the other side of that way to a museum station thing, I'm sure I am. Because that's a truck. <laughs> well, that's a truck there. There it is, man. There it is. Hey, hey. I ain't gonna stop there today, Lee, but that's well worth a come to have a look at, Lee. Been before, Lee. My top had it in centre. The Caledonian sleeper. There's the old bloody, what do you call it, bus? Flipping great, man. Guy get his deck chair out there. Lovely. <laughs> Very, I don't see him at the park to get a picture there, early with the bike. Morstead. I could have done there, Lee, but. Uh, see if I can get a bit higher. Could have been taking a picture of that man. I never thought about that, but man, well done, pet. Keep pedalling. 
have to water with that. Because it only doesn't, it doesn't take a picture when you've got it on uh, 4K, but uh, it's not on 4K. I started back to 1080, I think. Uh, oh, I was going to take a picture there, but the blue van's coming. Bastard! Bastard! How dare you! <laughs> This must be where the viaduct is, like. I think. I was ever knowing, but I couldn't this is eight may before I turn off. I've got no idea. We shall see. What a seagull. What a seagull. What a seagull, what a seagull. Eh, God, they're happy go lucky people, aren't they? <coughs> so, it's flipping something. I don't know. Aren't I? I think car behind isn't it? Might be further, obviously, must be further on, mate. You've covered over 52 miles. Thank you. Very kind of you. I bet you that's telling us where the bloody viaduct is, I wasn't flipping watching there, like. You're watching that frigging car behind us. It's a GF fence there. Follow four. the road for about eight miles. About 4150. <laughs> no, but it was a lot more than that now. I flipping thing they my hear them and I keep beeping like that like <laughs> I bet that's a track <laughs> to get through to it. I might be wrong. Oh law me wagon here now. Bloody cars man. Some boy, you've got some kind of Pretty barn full of logs there, like. <laughs> I think like, he can root the wood for pretty quickly. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Car and bikes coming behind them, like, but, but, but man, I want to watch them for seeing me, man. Fucking <laughs> interesting. The videos in the way. I want to watch what's going on. Oh. That looks like a trap up there, like this. I don't know. I don't know. 
find some ooh, find some at a park, a nearby or something. You've already gained 3,444 feet in elevation. Ooh, there's an old signal box. That's definitely a signal box thing. So the track is up there, like. <laughs> well, old signal box, it might be a who snow like, but it's definitely that's what that was. Or is. Boy, yes. Not chunk end, like. And there's a fire doctor. I don't know if it's a fire, I don't know why. That is it. Just a farm truck, like, but uh, hey ho. Oh, it's a pig there. <laughs> You paused your ride. I have. Let me get a photograph of you. It was just kind of lying that little bloody bone, <laughs> especially there. There's loads of little bloody trout in there, like a salmon. Look at them. I don't know how you, you never see them in this lake. But there is absolutely loads, little ones and bigger ones. And just hope we didn't dry up and kill them all. I'm sure there'll always be a deep pool somewhere, but um, like, but. Uh, so that's Chan Kill Viaduct, excellent, impressive, very impressive. Nice bit of little off roady gravelly track to come along. <laughs> and I come along on the wing, well the GL1000, but never mind. It's been a bit, uh, uh, been a bit more tracks than what this is like. <laughs> that's Anyhow, 
been I'm glad I got you out of there, like. <laughs> I'm gonna resume this now and get myself. Please tell you. Okay. Resume. I don't understand that way. In in that connection. I tell you what, we'll pull out and try and resume it from there. Because it might be just a new signal area. I think that's probably what it is, actually. I've still got the, c the camera. The flip up on the helmet, like, because uh, it's warm. Lovely place to live, like, yeah? Right next to the viaduct, especially this bike, this house just underneath here. But I mean, up there as well. <laughs> rugby pitch there, rugby goal, rugby post. Oh, horses underneath the viaduct there. Fantastic, man. Shank end. Lovely house, like. Lovely place to live. I've got a very this New Zealand flag, aren't there? Australian and New Zealand flag flying there. Definitely getting blasted with bloody little bloody flies up your snack. Up your news. <laughs> See if I've got a signal now, like, because I got no nice service. <laughs> Right, we're going to get some... I can't remember which way it was to go now, like. I can't properly remember. Got up a while. Need service, so <laughs> I'll let I got to somewhere where I can get some service, but I can't remember after I turn right or, or come left here. Oh, never know. We'll see. These girl lady cyclists. <laughs> Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Trouble is this way, I'm sure the trouble is going to end setting us back the horse height, like, and I didn't want to go on the height. <laughs> to stop. <laughs> oh, 
and I probably would have stopped there, that flipping car and I'd be coming flying. Whoa, where are you, man? <laughs> hey! I'm through the freaking fence there, looking over there. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's still on the engine, this thing. <laughs> well, that's a bit rough there, like it's all under, like they got up here. <laughs> I need to pay attention, mate, you know what I mean? Right on. Well, that's taking us that way. Taking us towards Hike. So it is taking us that way, right? Which is a surprise. Follow the road for about four miles. That's going to take us back into height, but never mind. I, I, I must have probably, I've probably done that anyway, I probably... But shimmy there on the back end. <laughs> I think the brake caliper's freeing itself up there, because it just locked the back wheel again. <laughs> Put the brake on, locking the back wheel, a bit shimmy shimmy. Yeah. It's good to be moving because I'll tell you what, when you're not moving, the heat. <laughs> and by God, I wish I had some water with this thing. <laughs> Well, I'm chuffed the bits I've been to Shank and Valley that I've eventually got there, like, and <laughs> I wanted to, I was going to go on the Himalayan, I mean, I will go back on the Himalayan, like, but uh, it was still good to be uh, there on, on the JL Athusian, I tell you. <laughs> there you go, get into gear, you daft sod. Yep, just clip it. <laughs> I just pruned that bush there with me wing, but I... <laughs> Can you do bikes, eh? Yes, it's not. The popular biking roads, you see. Plus, you've got the things to look at along the route, like Shanklin and Viaduct and the Heritage Centre, White Oak. Heritage Centre. The left hander, he was in the middle of the frigate road, like. Oh. Of course, like you should be, you know, like, come to think about it. You should get a better view around the corner, that way. <laughs> right hander, you need to be across to the left. But I think he was a bit too far out of the road to be on the. coming round the bend, I think he was out of the line, but I never know, I'll be on the video. But I'm sure he was quite far across, like. Probably I was an hour late and I should have been in the left on the right hand or like but it was the right hand off of me. Anyhow, no way, get on with it. Looks like pig farm, not like to me, nice. Stops camp. Woo! Forest for sale, get in. I've got about 50 pence in my pocket with that, day. I'll have it. Wow. There's big pigs in the field, like, I'm sure you're dripping. 
this sheet, they can't be inside their metal things without needing a frigging oven. No, they can't be, can't be out there. A lot of the grass is long around them and all, like, so if those pigs in there, like, I'm, I'm sure the grass wouldn't be long like that, like. Yeah, uh, there's some little ones there, bobbies and that. Yeah, uh, there's one point three miles turn left. That's uh, definitely a pig farm then. Eh? <laughs> I've been over to them. <laughs> oh, it's a little bobby one there. It's a bill there now. Right, yeah, I can't. This here, this is a canny road, and all, like. Not that you want to see a pig farm, right? But still. <laughs> oh, a pink house. Oh, green and light, that I think. Which likes pink, like. <laughs> <laughs> she might like it. Nice, it's like that, she might like it. like that, pink, like <laughs> I've got the brizer half, uh, well, uh, cracked open there. Get some fresh air, but... Uh, again, I must apologise about the wind, like, because of flipping wind will be... Probably terrible, but hey ho, can it be helped? In 0 0.2 miles, turn left. Turn left. <laughs> now that could have been, I could have been off there because like, I was skidding on the road there. Like. I wasn't paying enough attention. That'll be on In the video. Two miles turn left. <laughs> Skid, wibbly wobbly. I knew there was no behind us, like, when I'd done that, like, but I did check, like, otherwise I wouldn't have done that, like. <laughs> Carried away, zooming along the road. Hey, yo, I've got to walk, I walk and do the road here, like. Get it on the other side of the road so we don't squish her. Yeah, this is definitely a happy chappy hole, like. <laughs> the can do in hills, she should be friggin' happy, not bloody miserable. She's got no feel like another sign of a miserable fiasco. <laughs> but not going do in hill. Well, I'm not here, it's hot, like. Right, Ernie. Check your speed when you're going to run, will you? Because uh, they tell you plenty. They tell us plenty of time. I was turning left there, like, but it didn't look like a left turn until you were right on it. <laughs> That's my excuse, anyway. But it's true. You didn't know. It didn't look like a right turn. I thought it was where the road turned to the left, but it wasn't actually a left turn there. Like, as I found out. In 0 0.2 miles, turn left. There's another left corner up here somewhere. Turn it's... left. New oh. roof gun on the barn there. Eh? Follow the road for about eight miles.
Eight miles. <laughs> Bah, look at that man. I'll take a few pictures on the camera. <laughs> God knows what they look like. A tiny little camera, but uh, still taking pictures. That's the main thing. And I've got some good ones at the uh, viaduct, like I'm chuffed about getting, getting some photographs there. Like. Look at that man, look at that one. That's beautiful, isn't it? I'm not on about the fire weed like. It's pretty light with the purple light, but <laughs> But it is a weed. And it's not indigenous to the country like so it's usually found along railway track really, like that's where it was spread all the way along the railway track, but Obviously spread out quite a bit there, you know. And I've got quite a bit of my garden actually. Ah, oh, it's a stunning man. Look at that bloody scenery here. This has turned out to be one crack and ride like Calimoto, well done. Well I mean I've told it where I wanted to go. But, uh, but at the end of the day, like, cracking my beautiful, beautiful roads, beautiful scenery, man. Well done. You can, eh? I don't know what that's all about. Is it a can up there? Well, it's an exciting night, tell you what it is, mate. Right? Well, what it's for. They've all had the hair cut, so to keep them cool. <laughs> They'll be loving this bit of warm weather, like instead of pissing through the rain on them. Well, I would think they would be like preferring it. Like I mean, in our day it's hot, like. And I mean, they get most of the water out of the green that they chew, like. I, I can't see any water tanks in there, like, actually, or water truss. But extended dry periods, you would think they'll put some water in there somewhere. Uh, unless, there's, unless there's access to, the, to a bloody stream or a burn or something, like, off the field, because there's a stream to burn there, like, so I don't know, there might be. I don't know, that's it, lads, masses, I mean. Glasses underneath in the shade there all together. <laughs> you will again. <laughs> Look at 
Now I'm looking all over, I should be looking at the flipping road most of <laughs> But the scene, it's bloody flipping good, stunning scenery around here, mate. Oh, my buddy. I wonder what type of roads that uh, the route down to bloody Pickering was taken on. Mm. Well, we ain't going any off-road routes because, I mean, you can go on it, but it, 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 it won't save it as a route off-road, like it's got to be on the road, so all the routes that come off this are, are, are genuine routes that you can drive on the road, like ride, ride, or drive on the road, so, but it's mainly right, like, because Cali Motors a bloody bike up. <laughs> that tiny little cottage thing there, like. <laughs> or well, whatever it is. Actually, it looks like, that might, is that a flip? No, it's not, I thought it might have been a breach. A line hook, like, but it's probably just a shepherd's hook, really. Like. That's pretty enough. <laughs> That's a very lucky birdie there. Very nice. It's a bit rough that one, like. <laughs> I don't know what the hell bloody made that dent like that, like. Hey! <laughs> Lovely jumpery. Skelf Hill. <laughs> I didn't mean to beat the horn there, but I uh, did. Like right now with the ranges, this like, but uh, the flipping, the track over the ranges is probably in a bit better condition than these, like. <laughs>
Oh, oh, oh. oh, I got some fresh air, mate. <laughs> yeah, fella. Up and stunning here, yeah, eh? But, uh, woo, man, look at that. Yep. Right, 40 time, see if I can get a 40 here. That was a dad, <laughs> didn't hit the day that way, but never mind. Look at that one. That would do. Didn't hit the day that way, really, but never mind. Flipping that one. I should turn that off, right? Ooh. Right, that's a couple of pictures. All the cows over there, and they're very cheaper. I was a farmer, I'm going to feed them. I said, ah, oh, flipping heck, man, look at that over there. That's pretty now. <laughs> oh. No coming. Off we go. I've got to keep the flip open for a little while. And now it's going to be really noisy. I'm going to it. Should it? Oh. That farm might be thinking, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> I'll stop taking some pictures, so I'm very sorry. No, I'm not sorry at all, eh? They were <laughs> public road.
Hang on, man, man, let's see how Quad in the trail, huh? In 1.3 miles, turn left. My face has well splattered like, and I ain't got enough out to clean it with. <laughs> oh, I wish I had some water. <laughs> I keep saying that like. Fella, oh you fella, oh you fella, oh you fella, oh bump, 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 bump. Hey, flip and roll, wee-hee! Right. Hey. Bit bumpy, like, right? they can call it a road, but it is a road. Somebody having a picnic up there or something? <laughs> Go for a walk up in the forest or whatever. In 0 0.2 miles, turn left onto A7. Yeah, I know, I'm about on A7. Well, we've never been on the A7, but we're on the A7 now. We're coming onto it. Turn left. Road for about four miles. Ooh, four miles. I wonder where it is. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to work out with that. We're flipping must be bearings here, like. <laughs> Because this is saying it's going to take us off on the right. <laughs> and everything I would have said would have been this. Well, whatever. We're just going to follow it and see where we're going. Could end up anywhere. <laughs> A bit of fresh air through the top of me here, that's for sure. I would have thought we would have went left, right, but obviously we're going to go on right, so there must be a road that's a, bit, a little road that sweeps round and goes either flipping underneath this or over the top of it. Somewhere. In 
1.2 miles turn sharp right. Half a mile. Turn sharp right for some reason. Oh, no, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> it's not that one. Though. <laughs> Must be just. Right. Follow the road for about six miles. Uh, what the hell? Well, well. Do you know what it is? Was well, actually the, the only turns there was actually on the seven. You won't turn and off it. So it was a a right and a left, or a left and a right, just on that one. I'm looking for a place to turn off. Five miles and then it's a left turn off the set here, seven. But we'll keep it to 60. Oh. Gets loads of fresh air through the, the jacket. That is so it again, a bit stitching, bloody. Coming away on this one of the seams down your side, like it's it's where the Velcro on on Elaine's gloves used to catch onto the side of the the jacket. Well, it's just eventually would have been stuck and on and off that many times. I've just done it again there. It's frayed, it frayed the bloody thing, and the stitchings give way. But I mean, it's, I mean it happened to the other side, but I sewed it on the machine, like it's been fine, like so. I just stitch it up. It's a flipping grey jacket, this, like, nice lightweight, like. Jaw wrap it. Lightweight. Very I know which we are, I know which way it's going to take us now, we're going to drop it down, it, down back onto the bloody, into Newcastle and come in from the other side of Newcastle and then back round that way, like, I'm sure that's what it's going to do, like, but, uh, it's going to take us now. fantastic one. And this is a lovely road here, seven, like. Windy like, but uh, I'm travelling this 60 mile an hour, so it's fairly windy like. <laughs> oh, is that an ice cream man? Or is it a motorhome? <laughs> ice cream man. You're fleeing along there now, so. How am I supposed to get an ice cream when you got got an Don't freeze in Galloway. Cheeky bugger.
Half a mile, left turn. <laughs> Have you got any bottles of water? I have stopped and bought a bottle of water off the earth, which you have been here before, eh? <laughs> well, of course I have to do a seven, but I mean, I've been doing this road before, not only. <laughs> Turn left. Or up this road before. Because the hermit is castled with that, sorry. <laughs> Tally ho. Follow the road for about nine miles. Eggs again, eh? Can, can I carry eggs, man, but I can carry a bottle of water. I'll stick it to my jacket. <laughs> Can't look good. Picnic? <laughs> Picnic in the park. <laughs> I'll pick the doom by the river. Shit. But, um, I'm going to the sheep bees. Get some fresh air through and gone slow. Oh, it's spooky, the sheep bees out. Can it be there? Not like. No problem. Life, life gone. Life is. Oh, big pot all. Yeah, big bottle. Very pretty. Well, this is a very quiet bike, so... Oh. I'm standing up on the pegs again because my butt is so... Some blood button in it. Get back to him because I need some control where these sheepies are, don't you? What no alarm? Well, do you need more, uh, more, more control? <laughs> Sitting on your ass. <laughs> so you can stop and put your feet to it. That was a big pop later. Something coming out the side of the time. A stone, shuttle, whatever. Hopefully, hope they can through the flipping tyre. Wee hee! Why, there's some bloody canny potholes on this, weird. I should not, because I've been doing it a few times. <laughs> this is a brick and go to brought the bloody ride of doing. Doom? Aye, technic, aye. Doom to the terminus. Careful. And a very wet, horrible, rainy day. <laughs> but hey ho.
ha! Oh, you just sit there nice and peacefully quiet. Whoa, we'll get off the road. Stupid bloody bag tail. It's not a stupid bag tail at all, because the, the nest in the wild, so that's where that comes from. Like. And then they've got it right in the shade of that building. They've got it sussed. Back in the Scottish borders now, out the Dumfries and Galloway. That's another nice photograph. Well, hopefully, anyway. <laughs> that now, actually. Nice people <laughs> having a nice little party or a drink there. Pic but well, it's a picnic, I guess. The who's there like so. Wonderful, oh, beautiful again, they eh? flipping out man, are you?
get some old blood going through the old buttocks. Porridge family. Oh, it's a big bump there. I guess I should remember them, like, because. <laughs> I think the last video I come through here, I flipping started on them, like. Boom, boom. Right, yeah. I wonder when that, I can't remember what I was. I can't even, I don't know I don't even, I don't even think it late. I don't think it late, but it's up there, you know, like. I don't know, I can't remember. Now, that was a bad bump, that late like, because you flip, I chuck my hands off the bloody bars, that one. That was a flipping bad bump, that one, like. And you, you cannot see it, but you can feel the bloody thing when you hit it. I think it's the fact that it's probably in the shade of the trees and you cannot see the ridge in the road. Something like this, you know, in front of you here. Like, but that one there, the that's same there now. Big freaking bump, but you cannot see because of the shade of the tree until you get on it. How rude. Scottish Borders Council, get yourself sorted and get doing the flat them out, will you? Oh, Hermitage River, or Hermitage Burn, or whatever it is, Hermitage River. Getting close to the hermitage now, like and just see it through the trees there. But I'm going to ride past it, so I'm not going to stop the deer. Because I just want to go home and get a nice cold drink. So I can't trip that. Oh. Two miles turn right. Because this is going to take us oh, back to Kula. Actually, I could kind of cross the forest drive, like. <laughs> I could take that, like. Then I think I definitely need a wash then, like. There's a hermitage castle there. Hermitage castle there. Try to game out, flipping. And again. So this because of the water home and that, like. Yeah. <laughs> the hair there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That'll be on video, of that like the hair. <laughs> look very in good. Uh, look in good condition, like. Get across the road, please. Get across the road, please. But what an asshole! Frickin' hell. Drive up the middle of the bloody road wide, haven't you? Tell about a foot and a half on the bloody left hand side. Fucking hell. How bloody inconsiderate and dangerous. We've got a good mind to take the bloody that section out of the video and send it to the bloody police. And then get, get bloody knock on the door. Anyhow, whatever. I wouldn't do that, mate. Like, I could. <laughs> In 0 0.2 miles, turn right on to B6399. Well, we're going to end up going back through Kiel, that's what I think I might have to put more fuel in, like, in Kiel. Like. I'm back doing half a tank. <laughs> Been a flipping brilliant ride, right, this thing. Where we going? Turn right. Look like the phone in the shade there. What have been up there before? <laughs> oh. Canadian flag. Maple leaf. Oh yeah, so what are you doing there? I'm turning one light or something.
Windy city. It's quite warm that wind like. I don't know if it was a forum or it was a left hand bloody uh, left hand drive that one like. I don't know, it might be for me, but uh, <laughs> we're in the middle of the flipping road, I know. <laughs> oh, I think that roof knackered. In 0.2 miles, turn left onto the 6357. Turn left. Follow the road for about seven miles. Seven miles back to sorcery. It's a great route this day. I mean, we could have come back across the steel road from the not dropping off the Hermitage Castle there, like, but it's brought, but it's, it's, it's brought around this way, which is a different, obviously, <laughs> a different route. So it's making, like, it's, oh, you're not doubling back on yourself, that's really good, that, like, really good. Two miles, late. Right? we've done 93 up the nose, so... <laughs> Smell up there. It smells like bloody rape, actually. I'm flipping strong, whatever it is. Like, I'm looking around, no flipping here. It's dead sweet in there. Somebody's smoking bloody happy batteries somewhere. Unless it's all the new flowers in the bloody cemetery there. It might have been that, like, because there was quite a few. Look like it was fresh flowers there in the cemetery, but up and out. Can he bit that way? <coughs> that's a different smell though, that's not. <laughs> that's, that's shit that way. <laughs> horse, horse, not horse, but he farm your manure that way. <laughs> Them bikes are toppling along a bit now, like. Bastards. Bastards. Ooh, bum de bum 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 bum. All the bloody wanna be TT beers as there. Not too close to the hedge, son. <laughs> You've already took and trimmed a few hedges in here, have you? Haven't
Yeah. That's just me, Carl Never with TT TT with us, and now I'm flipping bombing along, yeah, like. And another bump, and another bump, and another one too. That's where the steel road one would have brought out, the one we went up before. <laughs> when we first come out, that, we went up that road. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, it, the route's not bringing you back on yourself. You're actually travelling on different roads all the time, so this is good. Good. Very good. Very good. Blown away there, puffing and puffing I am. I'm very sorry. But I like the microphone where it is because it keeps my voice quite loud, so. In 1.1 miles turn right. I don't want to hide it back in the cheap pad. Pad? Pad? Cheap pad anymore. Another bit of Ernie language there. He needs words, I think, and seriously. <laughs> this bit of road's hard, is it? I've got a bit of just come along, mate, wasn't there? <laughs> Zero point three miles turn right. Saw three. Turn right. Heading down towards Follow Cuba. the road for about 24 miles. Ooh, 24 miles. I could go across the forest drive and cut all that out. <laughs> Which I might do. I've been out a long time and I'm absolutely dying for a drink of what I like. Flipping, ah, oh God, a well, drink or something. Desperate. I mean, it's a great, a great route. This like, uh, absolutely a brilliant route. I mean, it's not. It's a great route, but probably not so much for the bloody. Uh, having a picnic. Eh? <laughs> probably not so much for the. The wings, especially up that bloody the viaduct road track in that lake. 
Right, probably not a good idea there, like idea for the bloody Himalayan and not liking this, obviously. <laughs> so I don't know how we'll take that in, I guess. Do that route with the wings. I don't know, we'll see. Would have to see. Kind of it. Those are people having picnics today, I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think that's probably gone up there, other bloody. Well, there's two bloody vans there, be, be dubs up there, I think, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Might be. You never know, you never know. Is there anybody there? Hi, there it is. We're just there with a cool box, like. <laughs> I'll be swimming in the, in the pool there, I bet you. Looking at them. <laughs> I don't know where their vehicle is, right? Unless I flip a mark to them. I've <laughs> been dropped off. Yep, Ernie, there's another flipping false neutral. Are they waiting for me to come through, are they? Well, what to do? <laughs> you have to do? A little pond now, ain't there? And me on this road, front I don't think you need to wait there. England, Northumberland. Dead water. Dead water fell up there. 
by the listening post there. <laughs> I see them bumps coming. <laughs> Well, um, people that's picking and doing by the bloody bone there. Uh, not be happy that the sun's come out up, <laughs> but it did. It's actually forecast. Uh, there's something to be called this afternoon, okay. To be overcast. Pardon me. <laughs> Kila campsite on the left. Just there. Campsite there on the left. Sure. Right, that's uh, us filled up with fuel. I'll have to remember to whip that brute the very video light, but uh, never mind. Okay. Now, uh, on the bar again. Along the forest drive, we'll go and uh, we'll follow the route round. We must have run a pet with that, but the ST1100 there, because the EA van probably must have. Whatever, <laughs> unless, unless he's put the wrong fuel in it, like. <laughs> 
Yeah, you might use me. Anyhow, we're on my way again. On my way again, down by Kielda Reservoir. Yippee Kaye. A hundred and seven miles so far. <laughs> Yippee Kaye. Poor old Bori, look at that, he began berserker. I've got, I've got the hospital tomorrow as well, so he's going to be left for a few hours tomorrow, no, I'll bless him. <laughs> here we are, man. We've got loads of water and everything in there, nice and cool, windows open. When I get it on Wednesday night, I think uh, I'm going to ask Alvin to let him out a couple of times, like, so, so at least he can be outside and have a way in that, like. We'll see, well, we'll see. Look at how you in a bloody big box and slap him on the back seat of the wing, the wing and take him with us. <laughs> he's never been on the back of a bike like and he's, he's nine years old, so I think he's a bit too long in the tooth now to be putting on the bike like. Even though I could rig something up again on the back seat where he's strapped in and it's strapped to the bike. I had to get him a pair of goggles for his eyes, like. It would be great if I could, like, take a minute, but saying that, like, it might be, it will be too much, I say it's too old, well, like, as well, like, plus, I don't know, I will see. I mean, uh, <laughs> you should be used to it by now, as I say, he's nine years old, like, I'm flipping out. <laughs> <laughs> they, they boot all the time on the bikes, like, so. <laughs> Even when we're away with the motorhome or the bikes. We're saying that the motorhome is uh, kitted out, especially for him, with air conditioning and everything, like, so. <laughs> He's got cool mats in there, in the, in the motorhome. Air conditioning. Uh, Extremely comfortable for them in their life. <laughs> Somebody's flapping around on the arse there. I hope the uh, wallet hasn't fell out of my pocket, hasn't it? I might have to go and pass this car soon, I'm flipping 50 miles an hour. I'm 
this took me too fussily. Did you say it again in the... No, yeah, I think you shit. Gone into leapless. <laughs> Wow, wee! It's nice to be moving through the... I mean, even though the, the bloody wind's not cold like, but it's flipping... It's cooler than standing slip, you know what I mean? <laughs> My legs are lovely, like, with these jeans, like, they're fucking... Well ventilated. So my legs are nice and warm, I'm not sweaty and clammy and look like that way. It's a speed creeping up there Ernie, so. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll put a bit out of this, like, uh, uh, just here, like, uh, I wasn't going to, I was going to just run the full thing and do the full trip, but uh, I had to cut a bit out of the petrol pump, like, right, for the card and what have you, but I might chuck a bit of this and it's going home from the petrol pump, like, so, but even though it's a beautiful road, this one all, all the way down the side of the, uh, the reservoir, like, uh, Ah, uh, we'll see. Otherwise, the video is going to be like three or four hours long. <laughs> I didn't. Boing, 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 must shake round a bit like actually because uh, there's people there on maximum volume <laughs> and I keep, I keep turning the dune but I think it just shakes itself back run or the wind blows a bloody thing run that's another possibility actually like the wind can be shifting it I put a little deflector on <laughs> tell I know Ah, yeah, there it comes again. That was a daft picture, like, but never mind. I'm just trying to make sure that the bloody headset. Follow the road for about nine miles. Headset's bloody, uh, fully in the, uh, clamp, like. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. She has 500, convertible. A2 set. <laughs> it's the registration, A2 set. I think they're about 120 year old or something. <laughs> oh, I can't hear it. He's a flip of the must be. Doing 30, 30, 40 miles in the morning. Oh, shut up, man. Stupid thing. What do you think? And that's the battery you've got. Fuck me. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah, it's quite an age, like. 
I mean, I'm no spring chick, mate, but he's bloody <laughs> quite a bit older than me. Right, it looks at him. If he's not, he's had a hard life. He's had two or three paper runs. <laughs> The pheasant in, yeah. Here's a pint of lime and lemon. Loads of ice. Thank you very much. I might change the uh, I might change the number update on this. I can put a uh, black and silver aluminium one on. I mean, it is a classic, like so. <laughs> it's tax and MOT exempt, so. I mean, they have them on bloody brand new bikes, so. I might do that, like. Bite us. There's a popular road, like obviously up to the alley. Bum bum. Bum 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 So Toyota I go ice. Look. Looks like he's had an accident with his mirror leg. Or somebody's kicked it off. <laughs> oh, know. He's hit something, he's bloody stuff, I know. He's pointing at that way. <laughs> oh, for so, she, yeah. So. Looks like probably clipped another wing mirror. 
and it smashed her completely off like. Well here's might be him. Probably a little looks like it's an old couple again actually. Like. But it's nice and fresh time I grow this way. This we must have just done this thing. Can't remember this being done the last time I was along here. Might have been nice, but I didn't think it was. <laughs> it smells fresh, it smells new. It could be just the heat. There's M9, sir. That other one was M2, sir. So I'm going to be gone there. <laughs> oh, but it was, I'm going to be there. That's what it was. <laughs> Lane head. We're going straight on. Who the person are you? Uh-uh. <laughs> Oh, get up on them pegs, son. Get your ass back in gear. Woohoo! Some blood in your cheek, ass. My ass is sore, son. <sighs> Get round there, you sunshine. Sunshine? Oh, nice. Well, I've changed direction. <laughs> I've gone my own way back. This was going to take us along past Tarset, and now which way it was going to take us. But I've changed it. Calculating new roads. Oh, well, I've just changed it a little bit. I'm not sure if I can uh, calculate the new route yet. <laughs> this is going to take <laughs> one mile. I think we're going to try to take us back to Bellingham. I don't think so. <laughs> ah, early man, you bloody knacker. <laughs> See, the, uh, now which the route takes us, should have took us, well, I should have went straight along, I should have followed the route. 
and we're taking it through Greenhof, Tarset, and back round that way, back onto the 68. I mean, this just really cuts up. Right, it, it takes you back onto 68, but before the next one does, if you know what I mean. But this is a bit of a faster route onto the 68 than what that one would have been on uh, if I'd have followed that route. The route I've, the route I've planned. <laughs> Never mind. Right, I'm just anxious to get home to get a drink. Nice flipping mouth. As dry as anything. Plus me backside mountain. <laughs> Hence keep standing up and getting some blood in my cheeks. Now then, let your mind up your bloody left hand indicator on first and then you took it off. Do. I think that's jammed actually because it's still seeing one <laughs> turn right in one mile so please make a U-turn from turn right well that tells us to take a U-turn no I don't think so how are you getting that cut I think you've got a bit mixed up there I think she's getting a bit mixed up. 125 miles so far. Yep, you can, you mother. Calculating new roads. In 300 feet, please make a U turn. I'm not making any U turn. I don't know why you want us to make a U turn. Uh, it ain't just cold light, so it's just sounding, it's just sounding good, actually, really good, actually. Like, um, the main, th the only thing that she's really got problem with is uh, going to the toilet all the time at the minute, like, but, uh, and I've, she's saying they've reduced the oxygen again a little bit, like, but uh, she sounds really wide awake and... Calculating new roads. So we've already, uh, so it's all, very, it's all good, that Follow one. the road for about 2.4 miles. I'll speak to her again later, like, but, uh, and I'm going to say that tomorrow, so... You've already gained 6,692 feet in elevation. No, I've not really, thank you. <laughs> but anyhow, we're on my way home. As I say, I stopped before because uh, Elaine rang us and I couldn't hardly hear her, but I think because she had her oxygen mask on. But, but she sorted it out and I could hear her, so... We had a conversation anyway. So. <laughs> on my way home, I tell you what, they're flipping. <laughs> there's a big grey cloud. Well, it's actually cool now, and you feel the difference in the air. Like, like it's kind of bloody. Feels like it's going to bloody drop water on my here, like on us here. The, the, you can tell the difference in the pressure, like, and plus the feeling in, in the air. Five miles turn right. Not today, it's sort of. This is telling us to, <laughs> to turn right down here, are you? I don't even think so, man. I don't know, what, I don't know how, the, <laughs> how this is taking us, uh, wherever it's taking us, like. 
Look at that. We passed the house we would have come out of if I had to follow that road straight along, but I didn't know when it left. But it, I mean, if we just passed that house, I mean, just up the, up the road there, actually, like, we would have come out onto here and left. But this is telling the, this is saying it's going to turn us right when we get up here, and we're going to go left. Now I'll try and take it into bloody hot level. What are you playing at, pet? <laughs> And I messed up by changing the, the, the bloody route myself there by going the wrong way, like, but no, I mean. I know what I'm done. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. F8 PP. 0.3 miles turn right onto A696. No, I'm not going right. Well, actually, it's shown. I don't know why he's going to, unless he's going to try and take us out of the way back round and come back the way I was going to come. <laughs> I'll force it to change the route like when I'm going right. left. No, I'm going left like African to him. Calculating new roads. Turn right. I reckon that's war there, like. <laughs> Calculating new roads. Fucking bro, what was he doing there? Please make a U-turn from turn right. And you can shut up an hour, I'm not doing a U-turn. Calculating new roads. Please make a U-turn from turn right. I'll let her check that route <laughs> on the computer to make sure that it hasn't bloody. I don't know what the hell it's trying to take us through bloody that way for, eh? I mean, I know I changed it before, but I should be back on the original route now, so. Well, I should have been back on the original route on the 68 there, so. Except for that, I didn't realise it was 3 o'clock, eh? Well, I must have been doing a few more ones, that's for sure. Turn right and turn right. I'm not turning me right. Calculating new roads. And I'm not turning right. It's Please make a U turn and turn right. I'm not, man. Shut up. Finished your ride. The right I have. Sick of hearing you. Tell us to go on a bloody break of your turn. <laughs> I, I don't know why, I know why she's done that, because I ended the route in Otterburn. That's where I ended the route. That's why she's trying to take us back to Otterburn. <laughs> Sorry, Pet, it's my fault. I did, I ended that route in Otterburn. That's where the route started at my house, but it actually ended in Otterburn. What a silly bitty. I know why, because um, I don't know why actually, like, why would it could have tried to take us back to Bellingham? But I think it tried to take us back to Bellingham to go around, to come back and go around the right, the right way, but, but I... Uh, why would it uh, take... I don't know, I had to look on the computer to see where it, where it ends as route right, but, just doesn't make sense why she kept trying to make us finish where I finish like we can even we can bit of a route like when you look at it on there. 
That's 134 miles so far, so... Bloody hell, the flipping death not the other cast now, like, where that forecast was bang on, like, far from the time. <laughs> Well, that's stupid because the friggin' come back on now. I've got no idea what happened there, like. Well, thanks for watching, folks. If you've watched, if you're going to watch it all, eh? but as I say, thanks for watching. Stay safe. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Let's go and see the bear. <laughs> More body.